Yo, what it do, SRT gang? It's your boy with the fat swagger reacts, and we are back with another reaction video, man. And yo, tonight, man, we're gonna get into some more Dave Chappelle. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Today, we're gonna be checking out what Dave Chappelle shares his thoughts with, with, um, with Dave Letterman about George Floyd. Now, we all know what happened. With George Floyd, he had the tragic death, like in police custody, basically. You know what I'm saying? And like they pretty much had the whole like foot on his neck and all that stuff, and it was just crazy. It was a whole crazy situation. Um, I mean, I think the cops got arrested for that, right? I think, or did he just lose his job? Like something crazy like that happened. Like I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? But let me know, like, if you guys know about it down in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? Because I definitely want to know, like, what ended up happening to the cop. Like, I don't even freaking remember. Honestly. Damn, bro. But, like, listen, if you guys are Dave Chappelle fans, man, like, you just want to talk about this whole situ like, like this whole situation, man, please let me know down in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? We could definitely talk about that because that's a real, a real touchy, like, you know, subject. But we can definitely get into it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm against the whole... Like police brutality shit, man. Like, 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 he clearly wasn't, you know what I'm saying, being any type of, like, threat to the cops. And they just being complete assholes, man. So, so, without further ado, man, I'm here to see what the legend himself has to say about the whole situation, man. So, I'm not going to hold y'all up, man. If you guys are checking this video for the first time, hit that subscribe button. And hit that thumbs up button before you leave out, man. Because that helps the channel out a lot. If you get to... Whole bunch of likes and it pretty much boosts my junk up and also like just share the video as well on your social media all right so enough of me talking let's go ahead and get into this let's go being somebody that people would look to for like moral or intellectual guidance that would require me to live a completely different way there's no pension plan for leaders martin luther king died penniless malcolm x died penniless uh, i don't want to do that right. <laughs> but that's but see, that's your view I'm waiting for you to say something. So what does that make me, a follow -up? Okay, well, I said it behind what, what many others were already, were already doing. And the commentary after it was very heady and intellectual, and I was shocked that nobody ever talked about what it feels like to watch a man get murdered that way by a man in a police uniform. Exactly. I was thinking about this with regard to George Floyd. 55 years ago, April 1965, John Lewis and his friends, colleagues, are, are walking across the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama. And a cop uh, with a nightstick, like batting practice, tees up and hits him in the side of the head and cracks his skull and nearly kills him. Mm. Nearly kills him. He survives and devotes his life to this struggle. Mm. And toward the end of his life, almost simultaneously, George Floyd, who I don't know if he was ever an activist in, in any sense, is killed, murdered, lynched by a, an officer of the law. The comparison is just right there. Yeah. They will both now be part of the, the culture going forward to, to repair what needs to be repaired. What I mean, like, and that's what I'm saying, like, like, these guys literally did nothing, you know what I'm saying, with just over here minding their business, and then they just sit here and get, and get murdered, you know what I'm saying, like, murdered, like, for no reason at all, like, no explanation, none of that, it just happened, and then, or like, the police just sit here, and like, and walk around like it's okay, like, no, what, you just killed an innocent man that didn't have no reason to be killed, he was, he, like he wasn't giving you guys the struggle or nothing. It's crazy, bro. But let's see what the legend has to say. I'm sorry for pausing right when he was about to talk. I'm sorry. The the culture going forward to to repair what needs to be repaired. What a tragic footnote to a tragic culture. Yes. This is a lot to unpack. You know, nights like this are I think important. Just just talking about. It. We're countrymen. All of us. We live in America. We, we all got our, our problems, our strikes. It's weird. It's weird now because uh, this this game of who suffered more. The, everyone keeps getting the ball, 
and they act like all everyone's suffering yeah. is mutually exclusive from yeah. everyone else. Yeah. And you and yeah, because everyone has their different opinions about the whole situation that happened. Like, and, and it's just crazy. At the end of the day, we just need to look at the big picture, bro. Is it, it it happened happened for no reason? You know what I'm saying? Like, like these men's men lives were, were taken for no reason. And like, we just need to just punish the people that did it because that's not right. Because the rest of the family of the person of the victim has to live with that. Like knowing that the person that they got, I mean the officer or whoever killed that person is still out there free. Having fun, partying, drinking. No! That's not right. It's not right, bro. Well, everyone's suffering is mutually exclusive from everyone else. And you and I both know that's... That's far from the case. You know, there's a there's a lot of angles that you could approach this and look at this from and and learn from each other from. But but it's a thing and, and I'm I'm troubled about the volume of it. It doesn't mm -hmm. sound like something that's settling or hurling towards an easy resolution. People right. say that what's going on is different now, therefore we uh, predict real change. Do you have that feeling? Well, I'm not making any predictions. Of course, I I am very hopeful, yes, that there will be real change. And and just, just traditionally, from my experience, uh, change is, is never like a, a comfortable proposition. It's uncomfortable before it's comfortable again. Right, man. Right, man. Right. You know, shout out to Dave Chappelle, man. Shout out for him just giving us his whole opinion on the whole situation, bro. And like, and like, I mean, like a lot of things he, I mean, like a lot of things that he was saying, like pretty much made true. But, but at the end of the day, we just have to really sit here and, and fight as a group to get justice. Know what I'm saying? And I definitely want to know like what you guys' opinion is about everything that's going on. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say. And um, it'd be greatly appreciated if you guys share this video, man, because I want this video to get out. Like, like I want you guys, like, I, mean, I really want everyone to just know that, that, like, you know, I mean, the celebrities care about what's going on in life, but they feel like the same way, like, justice should be served. You feel me? Well, that's to do with this reaction, man. Again, I'll be looking in the comment section and seeing what you guys have to say. We definitely can talk about it, and I'll definitely be back with, a, with a, 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 like another I'm like reaction soon, man. And SRT Game, I am out this thing, man. Let's get it.